In attendance at the meeting were security chiefs, as well as traditional rulers, the Nige, and chiefs in the state. The Benin monarch, Baba Ewai II, who spoke in his capacity as the chairman of the Edo State Traditional Rulers Council and chiefs, urged political leaders and politicians to eschew untoward behaviors that will undermine and truncate the free, fair, and credible electoral process. It must be realized at this point that no one has power of his own. Besides, it is God Almighty, great competition of the universe, that gives power to anyone, be it political, power, or spiritual power. So it should be against God's wish. Anyone tries to achieve political power through spilling of human blood or killing innocent citizens. The Edo State Council of Traditional Rulers and Chiefs condemns such act in its entirety. The Council is against the use of our youth, our children, or anybody else to cause violence or disrupt the electoral process. The Edo State Commissioner of Police, some party leaders and politicians speak on the significance of the meeting. Can I just thank the Oba? So for taking the initiative, because it shows a royal father that have patience for peace. This is what leadership is all about. It's not just because it's an Oba, but because he cares about the people. For all of us to shun violence, so that we can all live together as one family. So I think it's so clear, you know, when our forefathers and our elders speak to us, that this election must be peaceful. It must be transparent and it must be free of uh, any form of violence. Which was a message of peace and ensuring that um, the elections will be peaceful, fair and free elections and credible. This meeting so far has been a blessing. The Omanoba in his wisdom has decided to encourage every political party to be free and fair, to shun violence. It is expected that this meeting will go a long way in ensuring peaceful conduct of the forthcoming general elections in the state. From the Oba Benin Palace here in Benin City, Steve Lona and Waukolo, NTA News.